guys welcome back so today is going to be my first spring video of probably a lot of them and I decided to do this video with my friend Ashley here on YouTube um, she is from makeup TIA and we decided to do our top spring essentials or products that we think of when we think of spring so I have like a huge variety of products and if you are not subscribed to Ashley run over there and subscribe to her I love her videos they are edited to perfection and she's one of those people that I love to watch if I'm having like a rough day is so calming to watch she's really well spoken and I like am obsessed with her videos she does a lot of like all natural and organic um, like products so that I've never heard of so she has a bunch of great ideas and I cannot wait to watch her video for spring because um, she always talks about new products that I always end up buying. So all of her information will be candle. Below. And this is basically my spring and summer candle of all, my favorite of all time, which is London Calling. This is from Bath and Body Works. It smells like tea and lemons. If you love the smell of tea and you freaking are obsessed with with the smell of lemons, this is just smells amazing. I can't even take it. I hope they bring it back. I know that this sold out really quickly so I grabbed a bunch of them and I have them kind of just in my cabinet downstairs until we move. Sorry if like these patches here are annoying but we are filling in holes and repainting so you're just going to hear a lot of different things and maybe my next coming videos just because of our move and we haven't necessarily put our house on the market yet but we're going to very soon we're just getting this house ready to you know move on to bigger and better things just a side note so anyway I freaking I love the smell of this it's very fresh it always burns in my kitchen and um, it's my favorite and I never get sick of it I did want to mention a couple of Stella and dot items that I love to wear or that just remind me of spring and summer the first one is the Becker cuff I see this on a ton of people recently not per maybe this particular version but a bunch of different versions i love a statement cuff or a statement piece with a tank top a short sleeve shirt and this has been one of the ones that i've been wearing constantly very lightweight it just goes with anything. i always wear mint and turquoise or i always try to find jewelry that has some mint in it or that has some turquoise that i can just pair with anything so the fortuna pendant is one of those it comes with two different necklaces so basically you can just wear this one or you can wear the pendant here and I really enjoy wearing silver and turquoise together so this reminds me of spring and it's one of my favorite pieces that they launched for the spring collection one of my absolute this favorites. is kind of like a multi wear purse you can wear it a bunch of different lengths and you can also take off the straps and wear it as a clutch but just the stripes and then the pops of neon yellow and I like these bucket bags kind of on the side so I like to wear them like this and just kind of be on the go this is pretty deep so you can use it the front pocket or you can use this with like a wallet or anything else I'll probably put all of my stuff in this bag after this video because I cannot I just was waiting until the weather got nicer in order to use this so all of the links to that will be below this is my only Jo Malone perfume and it's called French Lime Blossom I've mentioned this before this smells so amazing and it's definitely different from anything that I own it has definitely has a little bit of that lime scent but in a very fresh shower like way I always choose things that remind me of just getting out of the shower or something just you know breezy like by the beach that kind of those kind of scents don't bother me they're really fruity strong ones do and I have this in the bath oil as well and layered together the scent lasts all day okay next I have four lip products that just when I was gonna do this video these four were just so easy for me to pick out and the first one is a gloss and this is Celeste from Buxom one of my absolute favorite glosses of all time and I'm usually not a sparkle person but what's really different what's different about this gloss is that these sparkles uh, don't kind of translate like that on the lips and it doesn't feel gritty whatsoever it's such a beautiful gloss on you can wear it with mauves and lavenders and nudes and it just kind of gives your lip combination a little bit more of a pizzazz so I've had a couple of these and I just absolutely love it 
The next one is from Gerard Cosmetics and I purchased this probably about a couple of weeks ago and it's called Kimchi Doll. Kimchi Doll. And it is just a beautiful matte, neutrally, it's just a beautiful matte hue, but a little bit more pigmentation. I love these uh, Gerard lipsticks. I think that they're super pigmented and creamy. And like I said, I bought it just a couple weeks ago. A beautiful shade. I'm wearing it today mixed with a couple of other different things. This is a great shade to mix with other lipsticks. It's lipstick. called Max Fanfare. And this is a cream shade, and I freaking love this shade. I don't hear much about it on YouTube, and I love it. It's a beautiful, neutral, rosy pink shade. Gorgeous for the spring. It reminds me of spring, especially if you want to kind of transition yourself into darker shades. It's so easy to wear. It's a beautiful lipstick on, and it's been one of my favorites for a really long time. I love violets, and I love lavenders, and this one came to mind, which is NARS's um, Never Say Never. Uh, I hate Justin Bieber. It just reminds me every time I think of Never Say Never, I think of that stupid song. So anyway, this is such, oh my gosh, it's a gorgeous, if you don't have this, look how gorgeous that is. It's a really pretty matte, creamy matte violet lavender shade. It reminds me of something that you could wear if you were like a bride. You could mix it with the kimchi doll and it would probably be a really kind of pastel-y pink color. Gorgeous. And this one is really easy to apply. It doesn't settle into your lines or anything. One of my favorite shades to wear, and I need to wear it. I have three on. eyeshadows from Makeup Geek that have rocked my world recently. And two. she released three new shades, and they are gorgeous. I'm wearing two today. The first one is Poppy. This is a matte, bright coral shade. It has some orange undertones to it. It's super creamy. It's one of those ones that you can wear all over your eye or just in the crease. I have it um, in the crease and just kind of blend it out with Peach Smoothie and it's really pretty. And the next one is actually Peach Smoothie. This shade is probably gonna be in my favorites video because I've been wearing it every single day for like the past two months. It is so easy to wear. It's definitely more on the peachy side than it is the brown side, but it's one of my go-to colors to just blend out really any shade that there is. So I just think this is a must to have for the spring and really any time of year, but since I've been wearing it a ton, I thought I would throw it in this video. And the last shade is called Rapunzel. I'm wearing it all over my lid and it is so incredibly, it is so buttery smooth. Look at that. It is like, I mean, I wish you could see the pigmentation on this. It is completely opaque. You can hardly, I mean, it is just beautiful. This would actually be a really pretty highlight shade for right on your cheekbones. It's a gorgeous all over the lid shade. It is by far my favorite one that she launched uh, with like the three that came out. I freaking love this. It's so incredibly well, When I think of spring, I think of very glowy, healthy skin. And these two products came to mind. One is a bronzer and one is a highlighter. So this is my, my favorite highlighter. One of my favorite cream highlighters that I've ever owned. And it's, you've heard me talk about it before. It's the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer. If you have aging skin, this should be called like anti-aging luminizer because it doesn't make you look shiny, it makes you look glowy and young. So that is what I have on my like cheeks today. I'm just gonna put like a little bit more right there. Do you see how nicely that just like illuminates the face? Oh, gosh, my viewfinder is kind of far away, so I hope that like doesn't look wonky. I would swatch it for you, but it's really pointless. Oh my gosh. Seriously, if you are in the market for a highlighter that's just gonna add life back to your skin, Give this a try, it's beautiful. And the Brutini bronzer from RMS Beauty, which is also kind of an, an organic brand, is so beautiful. It doesn't turn you like orange or muddy. It's really easy to apply. That's the color right there. And if you have super dark skin, I mean, that's a pretty dark swatch right there. Can you guys see that? If you have super, super dark skin and you are maybe wanting a highlight, this would be a really pretty highlight because you can the application of this bronzer can either be super subtle or really intense it's just very versatile and that's why i love it so much is that you can kind of apply it and build it up without it looking cakey or Last two things mother. are blush i picked two blushes to be in this video the first one is the cc plus radiance ombre blush in je ne sais quoi je ne sais quoi 
This is from It Cosmetic, and just look how beautiful that is. It has three shades. It has kind of like a highlight shade, a medium, and then a dark. A beautiful pink blush for spring. If you have like blue eyes, this will really make them pop. It's gorgeous, and it's like so pretty, and it just adds uh, that hint of radiance that you need that's not overdone. It's not too flat. It's um, just perfect. Burberry Cosmetics and this is the Tangerine Blush. This is the blush right here. I'm wearing it today. It's a neutral peach blush that is gorgeous. It almost has a little bit of the rosy brown undertones to it to make it perfectly neutral and perfect to go with any look that you're wanting to do for the spring. I, I love the packaging of Burberry products. They are just so amazing and um, so this blush is, I think, perfect for the spring. I always wear it in the spring. I think that it's just a wonderful neutral shade, very peachy and glowy. It is called a light it's everything in my video. Definitely check out Ashley's. Uh, all of her information will be below. Thank you so much for watching and for being here and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video.